Hi again, welcome to another video. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to take one of these, which is a clutch, off of one of these. You just saw it was a steel TS350 cutoff saw or similar. Um, this would work on similar machines. And yeah, watch the video now how I removed it off of the machine. Just get that now. That is, yeah, that's a left hand thread, that one. So that's a clutch cup off. I'll leave all that in there because I remember the washer and everything goes like so. So the clutch is there. Um, I'll, um, I've made a little tool to do this. So I'll get it out in a minute and then we'll set it up how it's got to be done. So now I think I'm pretty set up. And um, what I do first is, if you can see into them three holes there, just give a tiny bit. I don't want the clutch to get too uh, wet, but when I did it there, but um, I have to put a bit on because um, if the other ones to go by, they were a little bit um, hard to screw in. Then all I've done, so we get a better light on the situation. All I've done is got a square washer and, well, let me take that back off again because I can explain better. Initially, all I did was screw, got them some screws with the same thread, put them in and I put a little bit of the gasket um, stuff on it, the, ga the black gasket stuff, and then just pushed this washer over the top to mark where I had to drill it. So um, that worked quite well. Um, and then I drilled it. And then all I do is I want to make sure they start okay because I don't want to cross thread them. One. I've elongated the holes a little bit because it was um, slightly out when I first did it, but not much. And then I just. So I have to go in the stupid uh, all the way, really, not stupidly all the way to the back because it feels like a washer at the back. We don't want to be screwing in near there. So something like that. Then all I do, you do need a puller, but um, this is my um, two jaw puller. I did actually like actually I think last time I took the clutch and bits off of the and just take the centre of it off. But this time I want to do it. So I'll undo them just a little bit more. Give me a little, little bit more clearance. I think that'll be a lot better. Then just slide that like so over there. Get it set right. Oh, you better that way. Making it look very easy at the moment, am I? But I can assure you, once you get it off, you're not gonna get this off unless you buy the proper tool. Very easy. Just think I'll take that one out a little bit more. Yeah, that's better. So then just. Take the strain. I'm a little bit off there. I think me. I'm right there now. I've got that on centre. And it's just um, the strain's been took. And then should just. You can see. I hope pulling it off like a treat it's a little bit fiddly to get it right with the um with the drawer but it's 
to pull that off tightly now. Yep, it's off. So that's how I did it. Um, you do need a two jaw puller. Um, that's mine, but anyone will sort of do it as long as it's wide enough to get over your washer. Um, I just searched around in the drawer and just found this square washer and the hole was right in the middle. And that's how I did it. I think the tool for this is about 1750 and I'm not sure what other machines actually fit either. So, you know, a little homemade tool and it's done the, done the job there. So as you just saw, that worked very well. So I'm just going to run through just what you need. Uh, a square washer or a bit of metal like that. Um, that is actually one of the square washers, how it comes. It already comes with a hole in, but it doesn't matter because you can just get a bit of steel like that and cut it down or whatever you've got in the workshop and just drill a hole into it. So... You do need drill bits and you need a drill. The hole size, what I used, was a 4.5 millimeter drill bit. And that is perfect for them, little bolts. So you need three of them little bolts, which are there. And you need a bigger drill bit. For the middle hole and that i believe is about 14 millimeter across there so you probably won't have a 14 millimeter um drill bit not in um you know a standard sort of set it's quite a big it's quite a big drill so that's where the file comes in drill out as big as you can and then just file the rest out it doesn't take too long with a good round file and the um two jaw puller uh, which um, if you um, work on lawn mowers or small engines or anything like that, um, if you haven't got one, I would recommend you get one of those. I wouldn't actually class it as a special tool. I'd class it as more of an essential tool because it works on many different things, blade bosses and oh, all sorts, on all sorts of engines. Um, yeah, it's very handy to have. So yeah, that's about all you need. So I'll just run through quickly how I mark the three holes. I did mention it earlier in the video, but I'll just um, recap. Screw them in like that, just a little bit. And then just a little bit of, it can be Tipex, it can be paint, it can be um, just a bit of gasket sealer, which I'm gonna use here. Just put a little bit on each one like that. And then, Centralise that hole roughly like that, so you can see with the hole of the clutch and the hole in the, the washer piece. And there you have it. That's where you have to drill with your 4.5 millimeter drill bit. So it's easy, it's cheap, and it does the job. So yeah, I'll leave the video there. So I hope this has been of some help and you've enjoyed the video. Um, give a thumbs up and a sub, and yeah. I'll be along with another video again soon. So thanks for watching. Bye for now.